that you didn't expect a video from me like actually me personally me like me me not um a video of me filming something like it has been in the past so we are finally on here doing an update because micah is six months old can you say hi to the camera <laughs> So, Micah is six months old. He's a very smiley baby, actually. Smiley baby. Uh, so, all the updates are that he has blue eyes. He has the darkest hair of all the kids, but just not much of it. Like, he looks bald a little bit. But he has got darker hair than the other kids. Um, he has a rash on the top of his head, which just will not go away. We've tried all sorts of creams. We've tried keeping it moisturized, but it just comes back every time we put a hat on him, no matter what material it is made out of. So I just, I've given up. I just don't know what to do about it. Hey, Micah. So the past six months have been really trying. They have just been so difficult. I actually cannot believe how hard the past six months have been. And, you know, Micah is an adorable little boy, but he has been so hard. <laughs> My hardest baby yet. People always go, oh, so how's your baby and stuff? I'm like, hey, I'm honest with people. I'm like, he is my hardest baby yet. I got it so good with the first two. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, sleep has been the worst thing. So it is just, Mum and I for the past six months have just not had a lot of sleep. Um, partially our own fault because we um, are night owls and we don't go to bed till like 11. Um, we try to get to bed at 10 but it just never happens really. And then Micah is up all hours of the night. His best sleep of the night is his sleep that goes from uh, 7.30ish until um, about 1 is when he wakes up and then from 1 onwards it's been really difficult. Um, he's just not wanted to sleep a heck of a lot. Um, but just this week um, we have finally been sleep training him again because now he's hit that 6 month mark I feel a little bit better about letting him have a little bit of a cry and just start getting some sleep training going. Um, so he is currently sleeping in our ensuite, <laughs> which sounds really weird but um, so we tried him in the cot in um, Roman's room and he was just up all night. He was up 23 times. He was actually up more than 23 times, but I only counted 23 times. Um, and he was just, even though Roman was so sweet about it, Roman was just like, it's alright mummy, he's fine, please don't take him out of my room. I was like, baby, you've got school in the morning. So we eventually gave up about 4am and put him back in our room. Um, so every night since then, so it's been a week, um, he's been sleeping in our ensuite. I just needed him to be in a different room um, because he is such a light sleeper. He hears everything and he wakes up so he's been sleeping in our ensuite which sounds really hey. weird um but it's been going great last night he only woke up twice and one of those times doesn't even count because it was when we just went into we were going to bed at 11 so i just kind of i don't really count that but then he woke up at three and then that was it and then he woke up for the day at like seven which i thought was fantastic it's great um yeah so it hasn't been like that so finally i think we might be getting somewhere I don't want to speak too soon because it might change again but for now this week has been going a lot better um Mike has also been seeing an osteopath once a week so hi hey yo hey yo hey. yeah um so yeah he's been seeing an osteopath for like once a week um just to help with whatever's going on. He's really spilly. They do think he has a bit of reflux and stuff like that, but that this week is pretty much gone. We've been going to see the osteopath for, I don't know, like a month now, um, and this week has been the best week yet with that. He hasn't had any spilling or anything like that. And he's also pulling away from the breast and arching and just really having a horrible time, and he's not been doing that this week, so yay for that. I can't believe he's six months old already. How did that happen? I had this baby six months ago. That is absolutely crazy. Crazy. So he can't do anything yet. Like he can't, um, he can't roll. He can't sit up. He can't sleep through the night. <laughs> so um, he's just a baby that likes to sit on my arms a lot, and that's a, a you know, one of the signs of a reflux baby too is that they just don't like to be laying down. Um, so he's in my arms a lot. He doesn't like being alone. He doesn't like being not being able to see me. He's not on any solids yet either. We've been trying um, for maybe a month now and he's just really not interested. He gags a lot on the food. He's just like, like, I don't like this. So he may end up being like Mila Rose. 
where we ended up just doing baby led weaning with her. We just gave her what was on our plates really, as long as it was nice and soft and she just fed herself. So it, Micah may end up going the same way, which is fine. As for weight and stuff, he's about 13 pounds or something like that. I think it's about 6 kilos. Um, and he's still really short. He's still so short that he's still not on the chart. And he's So my camera battery ain't flat and I can't remember what I was talking about. I can't remember what I was talking about, Micah. <laughs> yes, I had to put him down. So that's why he's... Because <laughs> he had a big cry. I Honestly, I can't put him down. Actually, shall I do a demonstration? Look, he's already starting. He's already starting. Ready? <laughs> this is my life every day. See? I wasn't lying, I told you, this child can't be put down at all. <laughs> Otherwise that happens. <laughs> Calm down child, I'm not leaving you, it's fine. It's fine. Alright, so that's pretty much the, the dish on Micah. He's just growing and he's not... <laughs> He's not really hit any of those milestones yet, but I think that is mostly because he just won't be put down. He just won't be put down. Okay, so let's get to the other news on me. So, oh, I'm finally just getting there. It's been a rough, you know, few months really, to be honest. It's just been so hectic and I just felt like, feel like I haven't had time to breathe. The lack of sleep, trying to have, um, just trying to enjoy life and it's been winter so we haven't been able to get out of the house, we haven't been able to do much, it's just been terrible. <laughs> Is that right? I mean I'm still happy, I don't want to say that I've got depression, I don't want to say that I'm really down, it's just been, I'm just so, gonna be so glad when this year is over to be honest, I'm just, I'm really looking forward to a, a new fresh year and a new fresh start and summertime and getting out and getting some vitamin D and all that stuff and just hanging out with my husband, Martin's been so busy with just so much and me and him have not had a lot of time together and um, I really miss that and I just really need a date night with him and we both really need a holiday and it's just all piling up. Um, so for those of you who think that life, people who have lives on YouTube are perfect and everything's amazing, it's not always like that. Honestly, um, it's, it's been some very stressful times this year. Um, but we've got through it, so that's the main thing. Um, in exciting news though, um, I am actually starting a business, a proper business, so that's kind of scary. Um, it's just something that I love, I enjoy, I don't want to give details yet because it's not completely done, but um, it's. I'm so looking forward to it and it is so me and it is everything that I am about and yeah, it is not videography. So I was doing the wedding videography and I just feel like that's something in my life that I, I enjoyed but it just wasn't the thing I could see myself doing for a long time. It just, there was just something about it that I just knew wasn't right. Whereas this endeavor that I'm going on is just, I am so excited about it and I cannot wait to do it. And I can't wait to tell you guys about it, but I've got to wait a little bit longer until everything's a bit more sorted before I can start discussing it with you. All right, and before I end, I actually have just a couple of quick baby buys. If this baby boy will let me put him down for a minute. It's all right, it's okay. I'm right here. I'm okay, his lip started dropping. Um, so the first thing is um, I splurged, and I say splurged because these things are nearly $50, they're $47, on getting him um, the new designer collection uh, Love to Dream Swaddle Up, which is really cute. All my kids have been in these swaddle ups. Um, there's been lots of mixed um, messages about these, about my kids wearing these. People tell me that I've put my kid in a straight jacket and how horrible am I to put my kid in one of these. My kids love these. My kids love these so much that Milo still sleeps with hers. She doesn't sleep in it, she just has her hands and it holds it. See, this kid doesn't like to be put down. Hey, 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 hey. Look, look, what's this? I'm just sharing some stuff. I'm just sharing some stuff. Um, I've got this really cute um, placement bowl thing from Kmart for like $6. It's silicon, it's got the clouds, it's just super cute. Um, because obviously he's going to be starting solids really soon, as soon as he starts taking solids. Um, and then I got these really cute outfits, which were only $9 an outfit. So um, it came with a t-shirt, matching pants. Can you see how upset he gets when he's put down? This is life. This is my life every day with him. He doesn't, he will not be put down. Um, so it came with all of this. So it's, how cute an outfit is that? And of course you can mix and match things like this, that one too. I could put that with that one. Maybe that one did go with that one. I can't remember what went with what. Um, 
And the other one was this t-shirt with these pants. I have a feeling that the bibs might have been separate because it seems to be very dark if they're all dark. So that one, that one, and then the bib. But I have a feeling maybe that this bib went with this outfit. You know, a bit of contrast. But they were only $9 an outfit where you've got a bib, a t-shirt, and pants. So that's like $3 per item. I thought that was pretty awesome. Bro, hey. 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 Okay, so I'm going to give you a full look at Micah now. So you can see him. There he is. This is our wee Micah. See, he's still very short. I don't know what you guys think, but this is my wee, my wee bubba. Maybe six months old. Can't believe it's six months already. Hey. Oh yes, not very social, are you? Completely different to the other kids. Like Roman is just growing up so fast, and it makes me want to cry. And Mila Rose is oh my gosh, Mila Rose is a character. She is just so hilarious and just so such a fairy and she's very into singing and dancing and she's just very dramatic and everything's dramatic and my clothes must match and I my bow and my hair must match my socks and stuff like that she's just so funny and Roman's just very serious and just very grown up now um and Micah we're not really too sure what you're doing yet no no <laughs> he is a very cute baby though I do really enjoy Micah He's just a lot of hard work But it's not forever And I just need to cherish and enjoy everything about you I do Alright guys so that's it So thanks for watching And I will see you in my next vlog Which hopefully won't be like months away um, Because I, I really need to do more sit down vlogs Alright guys But for the meantime Enjoy the weekly vlogs And any other vlogs I happen to put out We've, I put a, out a few birthday ones Like the Wana birthday party And Roman's birthday day And stuff like that So go check those videos out Alright guys Thanks so much for watching And to those of you who are sticking around Thank you for sticking around I know it's hard to me at the moment because I just am struggling to get content out um, but we'll get there alright guys thank you so much alright